What's up, local entrepreneurs? Lucas Morley here with Local Entrepreneur Blueprint. And today we're going to be talking about SEO tools that you can use for your uh, local business. Now, not every one of these tools I'm going to be showing you guys I actually use myself, but I am going to give you uh, an idea of different tools that you can use. And it's, you know, at, up to you if you're going to want to use it or not. So you can see that here I typed in SEO site tools um, and basically what I did was I just went to uh, Google Chrome um, let's see if I can show you guys that right now Google Chrome Web Store that's what I typed in Google Chrome Web Store clicked here and ended up here put SEO site tools and that's what came up with those uh, results so uh, these as you can see here there's different kind of tools that you can use uh, no I have never used these before if you're wondering but it is something that you can play around with but do not spend too much time wasting your time with all these tools okay now um, here's another one in the Google Chrome Web Store as well I just typed in Google page rank and these are different ones that, as you can see here, shows web rank and SEO stats of uh, current uh, web pages and so on and so forth that you can, you know, keep keep check on your uh, web rank. So other options. Next one is an Alexa toolbar. I do not use it. I just don't think this uh, the results are very very accurate. Uh, a couple years ago it was like the hottest thing <laughs> you know that that came out so a lot of people were using this and installing it into their uh, like a browser extension um, but I don't necessarily use this just giving you guys if you, you know some of you guys that are starting out now you might have heard of this so I'm showing you you know here's the Alexa toolbar if it's something that you want to get into but you probably don't want to waste your time uh, using it Another thing you can do is just Google SEO tools and here's a bunch of different tools that are going to show up. Okay, and one thing I want to show you guys is this site here, S, uh, SEO, sorry, small SEO tools. And there is in this small SEO tools website in itself, look at this, plagiarism checker article rewriter grammar checker word count checker you have got so many checkers and obviously you don't want to go through all these things please do not use all of these things because by the time you're checking everything you've wasted so much time okay uh, but this is a, a website that's trying to do you know trying to be the one-stop checker one-stop shop I mean for your SEO okay um, so a couple of these things you could use I, I would recommend if you want to and try to figure out what's gonna make your life easier you know as simple as a uh, like a word count to find out okay because your pages your your website pages and blog and everything you want a, a minimum of 300 words but Honestly, 300 words is nothing, you know. I try to shoot for 800 to 1,000 words at least in every one of my pages. I try to, but if not, I'm definitely going beyond 300 words, okay? So that's what you want to make sure you have. Uh, what else? This tool I do use, um, Screaming Frog. You can have a paid version. You can use a free version as well. I use the free version because for what I do, it is enough. Okay, so this is my uh, SEO screaming frog here, and there's many things you can check with it. Um, I like to use it for page titles to make sure that I am in between the 50 to 60 characters of the page titles. Um, and also to check my meta descriptions if I do have a meta descriptions and that there are uh, between I mean you can now be to about 300 characters or you know exceeding 300 characters for your 
meta descriptions. I also use this for my meta keywords to make sure that I do not have meta keywords. Okay, so I do not want to uh, have these meta keywords on my site. Uh, check H1, H2 tags, and so on and so forth. And you can also use this tool for your competitors. Okay, to check their competitors. Um, what else do we got here? If you want to check for broken links, which you definitely want to check for broken links, I have used Broken Link Checker, and you would just type in your URL right here, and you would type, you know, find broken links. Okay, very very important that you have. If you do have broken links, that you do fix those broken links. Okay, what else can we use? Very very important. 100% uh, use this. Is your Google uh, webmasters so the search console you definitely want to use your have your website on your Google search console that way you can look at different things that Google is talking about on your website if you have any errors or, or anything like that okay how many clicks you're getting with your analytics you know if you have any crawl errors and so on so forth so there's a bunch of different things that you can check through here search traffic uh, links that are to going to your site and internal links on your site and so on and so forth this is definitely something that you do want to use also obviously uh, by Google is your keyword planner and I want to show you this how you get to your uh, keyword planner once you log into your adwords.google.com account you go into this little tools go to keyword planner and you can access the place where you want to check for any keywords that you might be uh, thinking of using for your website okay you don't just say I have a website in painting or I have a website in plumbing and I'm just gonna do this you know I'm just gonna put these words here it's easier and smarter obviously if you know your niche you're gonna know what words are important to your business but also you want to find out what people are searching right it's already out there you don't have to guess you can already figure out what are people searching and you know there's multiple different ways that you can actually search for these keywords here okay you would just fill in the information here and you get your ideas and you can do negative keywords and a bunch of different languages locations it's really up to you how in depth you want to get in this also another thing that I use for keywords is basically right here just regular standard Google okay I just type in uh, let's go with painting and as you can see that I'm typing painting these different words are popping up right look at that so this is what Google's already giving you these suggestions, these auto suggestions of what you could be using for your uh, for your business. And as you can see, all I typed in is painting, and it knows my location. It says painting company Port St. Lucie. So maybe they're like, hey, is this dude looking for painting company Port St. Lucie? Maybe. So it's giving me this information here. Okay it's something great that you can use too. let's just say I type in yeah let's go with just painting see what happens okay um, here's just painting and it knows that I'm in here pursue so this you know Google my business thing here the maps shows up and just a little quick tip here this is horrible no reviews no reviews no reviews very sad you gotta have reviews. It's 2018. You're in your toilet looking for a hotel and you're looking at reviews. Anyways, that's a whole other topic. Um, but look down here. Look at the other things that, other ideas that it, it gives you as well. So search related to painting. And again, it knows my location. Uh, so it's, and I just typed in painting. Okay very very important too the uh, way that you can use for your keyword research so backlink you want to know 
uh, your competitor backlinks or your backlinks you know um, this is a good site backlinkwatch.com that you can use I have used it before but they're they are limited on how many say you're I'm not sh sure if it's a thousand or ten thousand but if your competitor has more than I'm gonna go with a thousand I, I might be wrong so it, it's easy for you to just type in something and figure it out but if your competitor has more than a thousand it's gonna stop at a thousand or you know ten thousand whichever one it may be but still it still gives you a good idea of what your competitor has or if you don't know what you have what you would have now it seems like there's a lot of different things going on here and different tools and there are other things that you can use I just don't want to completely overwhelm you even though this is pretty overwhelming in itself if you're starting out you, you're not gonna need all these things as you learn you're gonna pick up different tools okay that you can use and it's gonna make your life easier and your work faster uh, another one that you can use if you start having all these different accounts and you don't want to keep this a little piece of paper you can actually have this key pass um, and you can have all your passwords install, installed um, hosted or in one location okay so that way you don't have to keep remembering every single one of your passwords you have it in one place and they keep it nice and secured with a master uh, password so that way you have one master password as you can see here one single master password and that way you will have to only remember that one and that one definitely write it down get it tattooed on you no 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 don't get it tattooed on you I know some of you guys will actually do that so don't get it tattooed on you but write it down and that way it will make your life easier so I hope you guys like this please leave a comment if you have any questions on the on the video uh, please share it with others that might benefit from it if you have any friends that, that own their own business this is just to help you out as much as possible and also you know check out our website localentrepreneurblueprint.com you guys thank you for watching and have an awesome day